See what I did there. <laughs> Swing. That's right. This video is about swing trading. And this is my swing strategy. And it pretty much works okay. There's a lot of stuff on that screen I'm not using. You know, some of the... Like all those moving averages. I don't actually rely on them to enter. They're just there. Now here's the good news for all you lot who just can't wait to get to the end. It's not going to last long, this video, because there's not much to say. Right, if you're in a rush, go down, join the Discord. In there, there'll be a group. It's not there yet, because I haven't quite done it. But actually, by the time I publish this video, it will be there. So scrap that. Go to the Discord. Join up. And if you go into the swing trading section, which I'm about to create, in there, we'll be able to discuss this swing trading or any swing trade, if you've got your own swing trading method, let's do it together. Uh, but uh, also, you be able to, there'll be a zip file to download, which has got this template in that I'm using, and all the indicators. Good. Good. I'm glad you're happy. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm thinking of you. But anyway, I'm going to talk you through this strategy now a bit. Let's have a look. Uh, right, so <clears throat> here's the strategy in simple terms. This, uh, everything on here is a daily indicator. So these are daily averages, of which it's 200, sorry, 400, 200, 21, and 6. Now those averages, when I did the Vince Stanzioni trading course back in the day, uh, 21 over 6 is what he uses. But notice how these averages are steppy. That's because they're only drawn from the daily time frame. So that's why I say it's a swing trading thing, really. Uh, so H4, H1, no matter what, the averages and the RSI at the bottom do not change. Right, so this strategy is pretty much based on the RSI. But it will help if you don't use the RSI as a mechanical entry and use a little bit of price action knowledge as well. So if you combine it with support and resistance uh, on the four hour, which is where I like to enter from, you should find this a little bit more useful. I would hope you do anyway. Anyway, I'm sure that was supposed to loop then. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so we'll have to go back through it again. All right, it's on there now. I don't like it without the music. I like a little bit of music in the background. Yeah. All right. So the way I work this strategy is what we're looking for is a little bit of price action. When this thing is deep enough in here, this is probably about a level of, oh, do you know what? Let me just get the, there's an indicator on there that doesn't need to be on there. So, oh, it's over here. So we've got a lot of stuff racked up on it. Actually, this is the wrong template. Oh, it doesn't matter. It'll do. Let's just uh, up. It's the right template, but I basically these four averages are now in one indicator now called MAD1 Multi. So if I get rid of this ATR, because I actually don't use that. Um, so the RSI4, which is from the daily time frame. So what we're looking for is this to be in here. I reckon this is about the uh, 10 level. Yeah, it is. But I'd just like to see it inside here good. You know, let it, let it have a bar or two inside here. And then when it breaks out, and it actually closes outside of here, this bar will be here. It's a, it's a bit like divergence, because that's a short bar, but this has come out, so the strength is losing from it. Now, it's up to you if you want to go in at that point, because this has closed out on a mechanical basis, or you want to wait for a reasonable candle that knocks out a couple of highs, like this one. Either way, this is a pound... This is actually... that That is the... US Tech, which is the NASDAQ. This is, uh, what's it? So, but this is the one I tend to go for. My old friend, the pound dollar. But I think it might work better on the NASDAQ, if you see. So you could use these averages and say, well, what's this 21 average doing? We're in a down thing, so we want to just go down. We want to go... See, that didn't go in there deep enough, did it? So you wouldn't be able to take that trade. That would be a no trade. This is swing trading. You have to wait a long time. This is a buy. This is a buy. 
in terms of nice bit of price action <coughs> on the this isn't last week's low it's the week before that I think I oh, know it's still previous week now anyway the this bar here so it takes out two or three four highs in this case on previous one and it's outside here this this to me is a buy you know you just have to manage your risk accordingly 50 pip stop or because it's a swing trade what do you say no I'm going to go the whole hog I'm going to go like a 100 pip stop and give this plenty of room to breathe Personally, I'd rather just have it up here because that's a big, strong candle. If it, if it gets down from there, then it's just got no strength. I wouldn't have it too close. I'd have it, you know, a cut of there-ish or something. And then so we want to try and ride this up back into this 80-plus area. It hasn't made it yet. Does that mean it's not going to get there? I don't know. You have to make, you have to manage your trades. I mean, really, little swing back here. You'd have to have your stop there at that point, wouldn't you? Swing up, swing down. You haven't quite hit your stop. So it may well be that it's going to go in your favour next week. This is swing trading. Now, the other thing I'd like to consider as well is, see the buy swap. So this is this is a trade that every night you're going to be paying commission on, fees on. So I tend to try and look for pairs that if I'm buying, I get a positive swap. And if I'm selling in this case, I would sell the pound till it's blue in the face because... It doesn't matter, does it? You can hold on to that short forever, and you're not actually you're all you're actually compounding your win because you're adding X amount per day. Do you know what I mean? Uh, as a, of course you do. You wouldn't be here otherwise. So at night, oh, when it rolls over, you'll get a few extra pounds. And I think on a Wednesday, according to my old mate Wallstar, it's double. And I hadn't actually noticed because I'm never in long enough. <laughs> I don't need to stay. But the, what I've done actually, I've split my account off. Because uh, those of you who were watching last week would have known some white charts. Well, the white charts are what I'm using for futures trading. Uh, and I've been demo trading futures for the last couple of weeks now. And actually, I'm quite enjoying it. So what I've done is I've started splitting my account now. Uh, as I'd split some money off anyway with the IC markets move that didn't actually affect me in the UK. So what I've done is uh, split some money off. And this is going to be my swing trading account. Well, I'm going to take on a little bit more risk on this because I've got good leverage uh, so that I can pile a bit more into the futures account, which has got not so much leverage. So I can sort of run both ships, if you like. So I can set these trades off. And once that's going, I really don't need to be looking at that that often. Although I have got a new candle alarm. So every four hours when the candle goes off, I can look at it. It'll remind me. It'll go click to say, you know, if I'm at the PC... This candle has just changed. You want to have a look at it, but it also reminds me to look to see if I've got an entry. If I've what, like an entry might be up and coming, so I just put this on a. So this is the Nasdaq, nice place to enter. It's a, that's a shed load of money, and it stays above this average just the whole way, doesn't it? Really, this is not the same template quite. This is what we're looking at the RSI. I've changed all this now. Uh, that's a six period average, and this should be a twenty one, but it's not. Uh, tell you what, let's go and put it on there. Tell you what, let's do that, eh? Shall we look at all these uh, things we got? There you go. So then you can see the 21 sweeping up as well. I mean, some people might say, well, as long as it's above the 21, I want to carry on buying it. Let's buy it again then. You could add to the, these positions you can add to as well, don't forget. So that's the US tech. Uh, let's say the DAX. How does it work on the DAX? Not really that well. It's not making it. The RSI is just not there. It's just so forget that one. Wall Street. Uh, yeah, it gets in there. Gets in there. Overbought, oversold. And I'll just pull it back a bit so you can really see what's going on. So there's an in, there's an out, there's your buy. Whether you survive that is up down to your money management, really, how you manage the trade. But it's, it's not a great trade, is it? And when you come into here, do you reverse? Judging by this average, yeah, you do. Stops up here. If you can hold on through that, you could actually add to that as a second time and go, crikey, I've had two chances to go in here. Knock off of it off there or something, you know. And then you could just these bounce off the 50 line as well, by the way. And just find your way down with it, really. And this is where we need to be looking at a buy. This is, this is actually a losing trade. We, that... <laughs> If you follow it to the letter like that, but you know, did you get did you get that candle, strong candle that knocks out, you know, three or four highs, 
actually now. So what I mean? So you need to combine it with a little bit of price action, a little bit of momentum and whatever. Uh, let's have a look at the big six then. So Swissy, does it apply? Yeah, it makes it. In fact, that's a, currently according to that a buy, isn't it? Whether, you know, if your stock was down here, you're getting another chance to get in it now. It's holding that level, possibly. We know what the pound does. Uh, let's have a look at the euro. Our old friend the euro doesn't really dig deep into the RSI very often. So I'm not sure the... I mean, you could change the RSI. Well, there's one. Do you know what I'm thinking? Might, could do with an alarm on this, couldn't we? Do you know, just let the candle close. RSI lower then. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Actually, we might have to... I don't think it's already got it. Should we have a look? I don't think it's got an alert on it. Hold on. No, got no alert. Just the time frames in there. And the levels. I've I've edited the uh, RSI I've got so that it just puts the levels on automatically as well. Uh, shall we look at the other one? So, uh, USD JPY. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that uh, definitely sits in the lower regions there, doesn't it? This is definitely a bit of a trap trade there. Are we going? Are we going? No, nah, I mean this this is not swinging, is it? This is just consolidating. So. What do you do? Do you get out? Do you just put your stop tighter? I don't really know how to trade that. You've just got to make your decision on it at some point, haven't you? If it's going on that long, it's not swinging, is it? Uh, you need to wait for the swing to begin. We're back down again. I'm losing trade. We're out. So you just got to get the ratios right on these. I mean, have a look back on it. I advise you, strongly I advise you to get yourself a little spreadsheet or a piece of paper and just put each ticket, what your risk was and how much you could take off the table following your rules. It's dead simple. If you want, you can put the date because the date's at the bottom and just go through it, 30 trades, see how it, see how it fares out. I think you'll find if you can manage the risk correctly, it'll work. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this, would I? Ugh. Look at that. Reject. Buy. Still going up, look. Let's step through. I can't actually remember what that did. Let's step through. All right. So we haven't actually gone into this 80-plus area. So now you're at the point where you need to make a decision. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put the stop here, just below this swing, little swing. F12, by the way, does this. Candle by candle. One of the greatest tips you'll ever get. The RSI is dropping there, isn't it? Is it going to bounce off the 50? Remember where our stop is at 108.725? We're still in. Six has broke through the 21 average. Gives us a bit more confidence. The uh, 100 average is rising. I think that's the red one. I think we're getting stopped out. We're stopped out. There you go. Good, isn't it? So we're going down now. So should we have sold that? No, I wouldn't have sold that. It didn't go deep enough. And I wouldn't have bought that. We're looking at the RSI and across the bottom. Yeah, it's just not got enough uh, momentum upwards, has it? Oh, there it is. It made it. It finally made it into there. Look. So if you had have just bought that and held it, was it about here, was it? Or was it this one now? See, that doesn't qualify, does it? So you've got to come out here. When this gets up here, you've got to come... This trade, you need to come out there. Just be out of it. Just be happy that you've got that. This is closed down here. You know what I mean? It just needs a bit of perfecting, doesn't it? You know I me, mean? I like to give you these ideas when they're embryonic. And they're just little baby ideas so that we can craft them together. Let's talk swing trading in the Discord. Catch you in there, babies. Time for me to leave. Got to give myself some banana and mustard sandwiches and then I'm gonna get myself some beetroot with custard kind of strange diet huh what do you expect for a nutcase <laughs> what's up doc yeah alright see you in the discord if you're in there got a couple of good friends in there at the moment got some old friends and I got some new friends Some of them are uh, 
Very clever. Some of them are not. But that's what it is. It's a community. We're all there to try and make money out of the stock markets. Well, whatever. Forex, futures, whatever. We just want to make money. All right, that's the general idea. See you later. Yeah. Go, boys. Take it away. Doesn't really do much, does it? Not very groovy. It's just swinging, man. Swing, swang, swung. Yeah. Played us out there nicely. Nice bit of a ringing piano at the end there, chaps. See you later. Bye-bye.